ever wonder about life's mysteries and how what we may not be aware of could be affecting the outcomes of we here on earth? With permission from Dr. Paul Leon Masters, founder of the University of Sedona, I'd like to share with you one of his mystical insights. Dr. Masters' mystical insights are based on over 50 years of consciousness research with thousands of his students. Today's subjects based on his conclusions after half a century of research. The subject is on thankfulness in mystical reality. Everything that exists physically, even ideas thought by those in physical embodiment, has a deeper, more profound energy existence. The idea of thanks is part of a deeper, more mystical reality as well. A person who expresses thanks for any physical life experience is not, in the majority of cases, aware of the profoundness of his or her expression. A person expressing thanks to God may have little if any awareness of the deeper significance of such an expression. This is so because unless a person has been blessed with real mystical awareness, giving thanks is an expression of limited personal ego identity. It may be that when giving thanks to God, there can be a divide of consciousness or awareness between personal ego identity and universal identity or God. Because of such a divide imagined by the personal ego, the full mystical reality of the idea of thanks is lost in a myriad of personal ego subterfuges. When the personal ego gives thanks to God, the ego is one thing, or identity, and God is another identity. In contrast, when a person with real mystical awareness gives thanks to God, there is a knowingness that there is but one life in this universe, and that one life, or universal consciousness, is God. An absolute mystical reality, when giving thanks is expressed, it is God's presence thanking God's presence. God's presence acknowledging itself for the good, excellence, and creativity achieved in human embodiment, or, to use the biblical expression, the spirit made flesh. In mystical reality, the most important thing a person should be aware of is that giving thanks acknowledges God's presence, if thanks are given to God. The more one gives thanks to God, the more one's consciousness is filled with the presence of God, which increases mystical union, whether in or out of meditation or any other spiritual practice. Sometimes when persons with an awareness of mystical reality thank another person and are aware that they are not thanking another person's personal ego, but rather the God presence within the other person who stimulated the person's soul to do something that prompted the expression of thanks. In absolute mystical reality, giving thanks is God's presence speaking to itself, within itself, or what might be called universal self-contemplation. The concept of time enters into the mystical reality of thanks. When a person traditionally gives thanks, it is for something in the physical time zone of reference that has already happened, and in a few cases is concurrently happening. And if you are still for anything to be happening in the future, in absolute mystical reality, all three physical time references are present in the expression of thanks for the past, for the present, and for the future. People with genuine mystical awareness would find themselves saying at least once daily, I give thanks to God's presence for all blessings received in the past, the present, and the future. Even a person who has not achieved mystical awareness but recognizes the validity of such a statement on a philosophical level could use such an affirmation of the mystical reality of thanks. Those living in mystical reality 
exist in one eternal moment of time when past, present, and future coexist. In such a reality, the future has already happened. When people then give thanks for blessings or good in the future, they are acknowledging good that they have already received, but have yet to be made aware of in their sense perception. The mystical bottom line. Whenever people give thanks, they are in mystical reality interfacing with God's presence. What can be learned from all this? Give thanks to God often, very often. Dr. Paul Masters. We will be presenting more of Dr. Masters' mystical insights on the station. KUOS 92.1 FM every week. For more free complimentary lectures and insights, click on to the University of Sedona's website at universityofsedona.com.